I'm running for president. A day after officially kicking off her bid for the White House in this video, Hillary Rodham Clinton took her newly announced presidential campaign on the road to Iowa, the crucial early voting state that handed her a third place finish back in 2008. Iowa has really been this demon for Hillary Clinton. She lost there unexpectedly in 2008. She didn't really go out and do what people in Iowa want you to do as a presidential candidate, which is go to their towns, go to their diners, their schools, shake every hand, talk to every voter. Which is exactly what she plans to do this time around with visits at coffee shops, daycare centers, and living rooms. So I'm hitting the road to earn your vote. Connecting directly with voters and making it clear she's not taking the Democratic nomination for granted. Everyone knows who Hillary Clinton is, but nobody really knows what kind of president she wants to be. So she needs to reintroduce her campaign message. Which will focus on tackling issues like income inequality and being a champion for middle class Americans. Advisors say she also learned another lesson from 2008, not to run from gender. This time around, they say she's not going to shy away from being the first female candidate. It's not going to be the central theme of her campaign, but you are going to hear her talking a lot about being a mother, being a grandmother now. Republican rivals wasted no time going after the presumptive nominee. Kentucky Senator Rand Paul releasing this video. Hillary Clinton represents the worst of the Washington machine. The arrogance of power, corruption, and cover-up. And Florida Senator Marco Rubio announcing his own 2016 White House run to top donors Monday branded the First Lady a leader from yesterday. They have to be careful not to overdo it. They can't win just by criticizing her. They have to explain where they want to take the country and what they want to do. Something Thank Rubio plans to do at an announcement rally in Miami Monday evening. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.